Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in one of my favourite towns, the very historic Glastonbury. This town dates back, like it has ties right back to uh, the 7th century. Um, it's one of these towers that's full of magic and mystery and witches and uh, Just wizards. Full of life. Full of life, yeah. Lots of buskers, very, very vibrant. There's a real kicking town, real hippie. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll come and join us for the day and let us know what you think. When you say Glastonbury, people automatically assume Glastonbury Festival. That's that's nearby, it's probably about five to seven miles away from here in one of the farmer's fields. Uh, so, but this is the actual town. Right, continuing our journey here in uh, the lovely town of Glastonbury. We're just heading up on a long walk up to the Glastonbury tour. These guys, well, Maisie and Mark haven't been up there yet. Uh, this is their first time. We, myself and Claire came up here about 17 15, years. 17 years ago, something like that. Um, apparently, legends has it that uh, uh, King Arthur was buried up there. And there's also been some executions. Um, not sure if I'm right on that. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know. However, um, one thing I do know is a lot of the uh, sleigh lines. Well, I don't know if it's all of them actually. It's the only place in the world that all the ley lines pass through. Ever. It's the only place in the world that all the ley lines pass through. I'm not sure if that's correct. Again, if you know, let me know. But yeah, it crosses all over the, uh, the tour. Ooh. This is really steep. It's a great view here though. Yeah. Look at that. That's lovely, but uh, onwards and upwards. Oh, I think it's all spilled. Tired. Right, well, we, we've had to bail on that idea. Because <clears throat> the uh, over here it's not too bad the path as you can see, but as you get towards the tour on this end anyway, um, it is absolutely swamped, covered in mud, um, up to about knee deep. So we're going to try and see if we can find another way. Tibetan prayer wheels, they are, Mark. Hill. Right, second attempt. This path looks a lot clearer. Um, it's just me and Maisie this time. The other two have given up. They couldn't. They couldn't do with a hill. So uh, hopefully we'll get up there this time and we'll uh, share the view with you from there. Maisie braved it with me. We're almost there. It's a lot higher than I remember. And no, and you got to be fit. Uh, obviously you also have to be able-bodied because it's a. Uh, Lots of steps, there's no wheelchair access. But yeah, almost there. We'll see you up there. And we've made it, Maisie. Big wow, is completely out of breath. But there, we, there we go. Look at the view from up here. Yeah, it's a steep old climb as well. Imagine this is a real hazard if it's muddy or slippery. But yeah, this is great. Anyone that's not familiar with what ley lines are, like I discussed earlier, I think it was a, a method that was introduced, or a saying that was introduced in the 20th century, where uh, the ley lines are like straight points from one ancient point to another. And it's ancient structures. I could be wrong. So it's very good as well. And this here, 
legend has it, it's, uh, it's a cap to uh, it's a cap down to the uh, um, underworld. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Very windy and very cold. Right, let's see if we can see uh, where the car is. No, no chance to see where the car is, it's too slippery to walk towards that edge. As you can see, very muddy. Yes, there we go. That's the retour. Yeah, this is the inside of the tour. Oh, it's very windy, it's bitterly cold. Pause it on there and read what it's all about. Right, I think we're going to head back down, Maisie, shall we? Uh, we Hopefully, we'll make it down safely. We can finally see the car all the way down there. <laughs> oh, I tell you, that's a hell of a walk. A lot easier coming back down. Nice that you've got a little uh, bench here for the uh, halfway mark. But yeah, definitely easier going back down, but what a great view. Just take it in one more time. <laughs> <laughs> you pleased you've done it, Maisie? Yeah. Was it what you expected? Uh. Yeah. Quality. Right, so you went down there. Right, well, we finally made it back down. Car's just over there. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. Sorry if my voice was a little bit, sounding a bit funny up there, but my, my jaw was numb, it was that cold. And I've got a runny nose now. Gives you some idea of some of the shops that are here. Crystal Man. I, I, I came here probably last time about 17 years ago, and um, this shop here was fantastic. It had lots of uh, crystals. It was one of the cheapest crystal shops in the town. Um, it doesn't look very open, but the crystals are still there in display. Got some geodes there. Very nice. So Maisie was very excited about coming here. So what do you think? It looks like something straight out of Wicker Man. <laughs> Wicker Man? Yes. That's, uh, that's, by the way, that's one of Maisie's favourite movies. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it's got some Wicker ties here. Yeah. Um, you've got the Abbey over there as well. Um, the Abbey's famous for, I think, being one of the uh, first Abbeys, or the only Abbey to actually introduce Christianity. I may be getting that all wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. <laughs> so into our first shop, the Imaginarium. Let's have a look see what sort of trinkets we can get in here. I always love the smell of these places. Beautiful, lots of gift ideas here. You've got your incense stands. They're cool. And some jewellery. in here <laughs> and of course there's no magic shop without Harry Potter <laughs> yes so that was the Imaginarium what where do you want to go Mark? Um, the man the myth and magic. oh yes the man the myth and magic just down there yeah we'll head over there shortly Single so we're going to head down from the start of the high street and we'll take you through a little walk through up to the top um, we can't film in every shop here because people don't like filming some of these shops so we'll get what we can and I'll try not to make it too boring. Yeah, you can come here 20 times and you'll always see something different. There's lots of little nooks and crannies everywhere here and uh, little shops and hidden gems. It's great. That is the Georgian Pilgrim Hotel and Bar. We stayed there once. Absolutely gorgeous. It's been lovely restored. The rooms are all full. It's all creaky that the room actually lean as well as the staircases. It's really nice that place. And I think through here is one of my favourite crystal shops. It's my favourite because of the way it, uh, the entrance is made. It's got crystals all stuck into the walls and stuff. I'll show you what I mean. See, 
it's lovely. These are little nooks and crannies I'm talking to you about. And this is the shop here, the uh, Stone Age. So as you go through, if you look down, you'll see there's crystals embedded in the ground. And on the roof. All the way leading to the shop. And you look at the frontage of the shop, it's great, isn't it? You've got all the crystals embedded into the walls as well. Look at that. It's lovely. I love that shop. It's got yeah. uh, some amazing crystals in there, but it's one of those that don't really like to talk so. We're currently in the Speaking Tree bookshop. Lots of mystical books, including books on Stonehenge, Wicca, Witchcraft. We're currently in Star Child. Great shop, I can't explain it. The smell you get in here. Great scents. You've got lots of uh, healing oils. And herbs for smudging. Another great colourful shop. I tell you, I just love this place and the people here as well, real colourful people. We're inside the Ying Yang shop at the moment. Look at some of this beautiful stuff they have in here. Oh wow, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. It's lovely. The Tibetan singing bowls. Very nice. Wow, look at that. That's a geode and a half. My hand is <laughs> It's massive. Lots of lovely jewelry here. the yin yang shop. Then as we head into the gauntlet you'll see it's like a little alleyway something out of Harry Potter with some more little shops in. And over here you can have a picture taken of your aura with a curly and camera. There you go. That's what, how they come out. Yeah, it's very cute here. But a lot of the shops are closed, so shame really. So that was the gauntlet. Here's another one of those nook and crannies, the Monoquay. See what's down here, it's one again that I've never been down. Got a vegan takeaway in the bakery. And the green room, whatever that is. Looks like organic wines. Very nice. So that was the Monarch Way. Nice. Lots of lovely shops in here, but we're not allowed to film hardly any of them. <laughs> Reaching the end of the high street shortly, guys. Even the post office is a lovely building. Done the day, we completed the day. Um, 
not much was open and a lot of places didn't like us filming so probably not the best but Maisie ended up getting what she wanted which was the uh, pentacle. pentacle she lost one yesterday so uh, so she's pleased with that but yeah so uh, hope you enjoyed what we can make of it today um, hopefully um, we'll be filming from Stonehenge soon and that should be up the following week uh, from this vlog when it goes up also we couldn't get to do the chalice wells because two reasons it was a pain to park there and it just run out of time um, so I hope you enjoyed it um, something a little bit different some of our uh, viewers have asked us just to post some UK stuff and historical stuff which is why we're doing what we're doing so anyway if you like the content please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe we'll catch you next time Thank you.